Kazakhstan restored order with the help of CSTO deployment to crack down on gang incursions trained from Abu Dhabi. With constitutional order in Kazakhstan about to be restored after the government took firm measures to deal with the unrest, which has engulfed half of the country for a few days, and the arrival of troops from the Collective Security Treaty Organization, the U.S. and the West rushed to take the chance to play geopolitical tricks by questioning the legitimacy of CSTO's deployment and hyping the Russia threat in an attempt to squeeze its influence in Central Asia. Analysts noted that CSTO's military deployment is not only legitimate but also necessary to deter evil terrorist and extremist forces and outside forces that seek to use the unrest to make profit. They also suggested closer coordination and cooperation between the Shanghai Cooperation Organization and the CSTO to defend regional stability. The counterterrorism operation in Kazakhstan has been raised to critical red on Friday. Over 3,000 people have been detained in Kazakhstan in connection with the riots, 26 armed rioters have been killed, and 18 were injured in clashes with security forces, state-run broadcaster Kabar 24 reported on Friday, citing a source from the Interior Ministry. The unrest, which started as a protest of fuel price hikes in the Mangista region on January 2 before spreading to half of the country in the following days, seemed to be close to an end, despite gunshots being heard in Almaty, the largest city in Kazakhstan, in the early morning hours of Friday with no police or protesters seen on the streets, Kazakh and Russian media reported. Many countries, including the US and Russia, and the EU bloc have been closely monitoring the situation in Kazakhstan. But after CSTO agreed to deploy troops to help Kazakhstan, the US, together with the Western media, quickly stood up to question the legitimacy of the military deployment and Russia's involvement in the situation. The decision by CSTO to deploy military forces is legitimate as it was written in the document of the treaty that CSTO could take actions when faced with threats to national security and sovereignty of member states, Yang Jin, an associate research fellow at the Institute of Russian, Eastern European and Central Asian Studies at the Chinese Academy of Social Sciences, told the Global Time, representing the government Kazakh President Tokayev made the request to the CSTO Collective Security Council and the decision was made after a full discussion by member states, Yang said, noting that the decision to deploy military forces is not made by one country but member states as a whole. A statement released by the CSTO on Thursday said the CSTO Secretariat confirmed the receipt of an appeal for assistance by the Republic of Kazakhstan. The appeal states that this situation is seen as an invasion by gangs trained from abroad. One purpose for CSTO CSTO is set to defend the regional stability and it responded quickly to Kazakhstan's appeal because if the riots were not effectively curbed, they would have not only severely destabilized Kazakhstan but also the entire region, and the longer they carried on, the deeper outside forces could get involved, Yang said. The latest developments of the chaos have been manifested with signs of color revolutions while the US and West are eager to use the opportunity to weaken Russia's influence in Central Asia, Yang said, noting that. By deploying troops, CSTO also wanted to deter outside forces and the terrorist forces that want to seek benefits from the current situation. Yang noted that videos on the chaos uploaded online showcased how dangerous the threats had become with weapons being handed to demonstrators and clashes with police seemingly organized. The initially peaceful protests quickly turned radical especially in Almaty with demonstrators storming administrative institutions, setting fire to cars and buildings, and confronting the police. Video shows beaten soldiers who were left behind and some people driving cars into officers. One police officer was reportedly found beheaded in the unrest. Andrei Korchanov, director general of the Russian International Affairs Council, wrote to the Global Times that the decision of Russia and its Central Asian allies to meet the request of the Kazakhstan authorities and provide military assistance is an important gesture of political support and solidarity. If it turns out that there is indeed an infiltration of extremist and terrorist groups from abroad, an international cooperation in suppressing such groups may become critically important, Korchanov said. Moreover, Pan Guang, director of the Center of SEO Studies of the Shanghai Academy of Social Sciences, told the Global Times that it is possible that extremists could have been involved. He pointed out that during a similar incident, protests and later clashes between police officers and local workers in the Mangisto region over salaries in 2011, a religious extremist organization was found to be behind some radical action. Detailed information on the forces behind the current chaos in Kazakhstan has not been disclosed, but forces promoting separatism,
terrorism and extremism may have been involved. On Friday, Kazakh President Tokiev said that the constitutional order in Kazakhstan had been restored and the situation was under control. The troops from the CSTO have arrived and are helping to restore order, Kazakh media reported. Although the situation in Kazakhstan is under control, the unrest will have more impacts. It has destroyed the image of Kazakhstan as a stable country and proved to both Kazakhstan and regional countries that stability and security in the region is still fragile, analysts said. Out of concern for security and political needs, countries in Central Asia may work toward closer relations with Russia and be more alert for interference from the U.S. and West, while the U.S. and the West may pour more money and efforts into these areas to compete with Russia and contain China, Yang said. Moreover, as Kazakhstan and many Central Asian countries are also members Members of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization, SEO member states could also strengthen cooperation on countering dangerous forces and defending regional stability, Yang said. In response to questions on what the SEO could do for Kazakhstan, an SEO member, Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson Wang Wenbin told a press conference on Friday that China and other SCO members are closely monitoring the situation in Kazakhstan and believe it can properly deal with the problem. We also support Kazakhstan to stabilize the situation and are willing to promote the SCO to play a positive role said Wang, noting that China supports all efforts that would help Kazakhstan to quell the situation and firmly opposes outside forces that incite social disturbance and violence in Kazakhstan. Pan noted that stability in Kazakhstan will also influence China's northwest region especially the Xinjiang region. It is worrisome on whether the chaos in Kazakhstan will spill over into other countries in Central Asia, as outside forces and extremism could infiltrate the region via the internet and incite trouble through videos and words. We need to closely monitor all changes in the region, including in Afghanistan, said Pan.